Now from that, then Obi wa ifen. And then if Obi wa ifen, there was a prophet called Eli. No, Obi fo bi so ifen Eli. Samuel may, was not a prophet; was just a young boy. No, he had And there's a Samuel. prophet called Eli. No, Eli wo ho. Then God came to Samuel. And then Samuel. And said, Samuel. Samuel. Said, Samuel hey. When Samuel got up, Samuel saw him. He went to Eli. No, no, Eli in change. Say, Olu. I'm here. Oh, friend me. I didn't call you. Man from. Then went to lie down. Then God said, Samuel. Samuel, he got up. This old man is what we Here I am. I didn't call you. Man from. Then he walked back. Then God said, Samuel. Samuel, he got up. This old man is what we call him. Here I am. I didn't call you. Man from. Then he went back. Then God said, Samuel. Samuel, hey, this old man. Hey, man, no pause. He went back. I know. Call him. Then old man said, I didn't call you. Man from. But when he was going, no, no, no. the old man remembered. Well, Kai, eh, That's a voice eh, of Kai, God. Eh, He's a prophet. Oh, you so he knows how he God knows speaks. Eh, so he called him and said, Come, come, come. Pra, 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 pra. Do you know who, is, who has been calling you? Yeah, I heard I feel. It's God. Eh, he wants to talk to you directly. No, In fact, he's annoying with me. He oh, ni, ni me. I've done some wrong things, eh, so that's why he wants to talk to me through you. He wants to speak to you directly. No, so when you hear your name, just respond. Say, Speak. Your servant here. Who am I? And Samuel went. And Samuel cried. And and then the voice God came back and said, Samuel. Samuel then he said, I now know who you are. I have been taught. I have been taught. I now know it is you who is calling me. So speak. I am hearing. Now I call me. And God began to speak to Samuel. Amen. Amen. Even under the Old Testament, prophets were teaching people how to hear from God. Hallelujah. Amen. I said Hallelujah. Amen. So here we are children. We must hear the voice of God. Our Father want to talk to us. Hallelujah. Amen. I say Hallelujah. Amen. But you know, <laughs> when you are in the pews, so <laughs> Let me tell you something. How many of you are trying to talk to babies before? You have not talked to a baby before. How many of you talk to babies? Do you know the most, David? Do you know the most craziest thing? I saw a father talking to a six-month-old baby. Six months old baby. On the internet. Six months old baby. 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 Build your house. I will take you to London. I will buy you dresses. And then the baby was like, "Oh." <laughs> and then the baby will look at him and say, "Chere sa ro asre." And then he say, "Oh, I you understand." Then the, the man he say, "Oh, you understand." Then he talking and talking and talking. The, the father knows that the baby doesn't understand. And he was talking, not in the casa, hoping. One day, the baby will understand. So God is talking. In the pews, he found children who are wearing napkins. They don't understand. They don't understand. They don't. They don't even hear. Receive the grace to become a hero. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you rising to become a hero. Sorry. When God speaks, you will hear. Obete. Amen. Amen. I said, Amen. Amen. I told you the story of Pastor T. Make Pastor T a seventy show. Somebody does him five hundred. Obi channel five hundred. He went to the to Choba. You know, called Choba. He did a two hundred. No, no. Finish two hundred. Finish two hundred. Finish it. Immediately came out from the Choba. He heard a voice of God. The rest of the money, use it for business. He came to me. No problem. He said, because I am. I, I through me, God brought him from Islam Islam to become a Christian. Christian. So he came to me that evening. He said, I heard the voice of God. I said, What did God tell you? He said, I should use the 300 to do business. And I said, Did you ask him what business you should do? He said, when he was telling me to use the 300 for the business, the idea for the 300 it came into my head. I said, What was it? He said, Go and sell foods. And it was a garbo like hand clothing. It was a garbo. In Kenya. And those days, Sambi it's only the boys from Kumasi, hey, Kumasi who sell foods. No, the car foods. boys are ashamed to sell foods. And he had a voice, go and sell foods. With the 300 cities. 300 Ghana. So he yeah. asked me, Obisame. do you think it's possible? Can somebody start business with 300? And I was the 
more mature Christian. Now me me nyinka kra. I threw me he became more. So, I told him. If God said and it, it, then it is possible. Me go me myself I did it with Kiki 300. But I told him, if you had the voice of God, then it is possible. Me go me myself I did it with Kiki 300. But I told him, if you had the voice of God, then it is possible. Me go me myself I did it with Kiki 300. But I told him, if you had the voice of God, then it is possible. Me go me myself I did it with Kiki 300. But I told him, if you had the voice of God, then it is possible. Me go Shop money. He used it for transport. And went to Tema Station. Some of you here don't know where Tema Station is. Because before you came, Tema Station has gone. It's now only a station. Tema Station used to be a man. So when he got there, he had Ben Dam Boutique. Do you know Ben Dam Boutique? Some of you don't know Ben Dam Boutique. The boutique, you don't stand to select. You bend down to select. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So he Amen. went and bought three. Yes, sir. He came and washed it. Yes, Iron it. Yes, then the following morning, yes, he has to break through. Yes, so the way. He looked at around. Yes, but he said, yes, 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 So he yes, carried yes, like this. Two yes, so guys were standing. Yes, one bought two. Yes, and yes, the other yes, bought yes, one. Yes, they bought it 200, 200. Yes, so he got 600. Yes, so, he yes, so he went back to the same place. Yes, and bought six came and iron the following morning he went he sold five he got ten cd he went back the same place he sell still hundred hundred so he got ten he came and washed went back he sold within one week within one week within one month his goods he couldn't hang them anymore he put them in sacks Goods go to go. Within one year, he bought a car. Within two years, he bought a land. It was there he said, mm. God is telling me to go to Bible school. Then I said, Oh yeah. He went to Bible school. And today, he's an apostle of God. He's an apostle of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. How did he get there? Oh, do what say? By hearing the voice. Oh, yeah, no, no. The voice of the and Father. The, 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 he was hear the voice of God. Oh, no. no. The heroes don't know the voice of God. God. You can't blame God. You can't blame God. He is talking to you. Because you, you, you are in the field. You, you are not understanding. You, 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 understand you, understand you get confused. You don't you know, know what to do. How can you be a child of God? And you don't know what to do. It is time to practice. Hearing. The voice yes. of the Amen. Father. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I prayed only one prayer all my life. Lord, Lord reveal yourself to me. me. Reveal yourself to me. me. I want to know you. Nephews always ask for things. God, give me. Mommy. Forgive me and give me because <laughs> the other day no, no, no. I did it again. Oh God, forgive me. Then they will go, God, give me. Mommy. It's always forgive and give me. <laughs> By the heroes of God. Oh, they want to know the mind of God. I said they want to know the mind of God. They want to say, Father. What do you want to do? There was a man called James Watt. James Watt. James Watt. In Scotland. That was Scotland. He was praying. He didn't ask God for shoes. He didn't ask God for money. He prayed. He said, God, give me Scotland. I want the whole of Scotland. Oh, I will die. Give me Scotland. He was not asking for things. He is a hero of God. He knows the heart of the Father. And he prays according to that. Hallelujah. Amen. May somebody here mature from an appeal to a hills of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. I always want to know God. The Bible said God showed Moses his ways. And for the children of Israel, he shows them his art. They are Christians who always want to see miracles. He saw the miracle they have. So wherever the miracle is, that's where they go. They don't 
don't care about the, the God who gives a miracle. They don't want to know him. They want things from him. May somebody here mature in the name of Jesus. Because as long as you remain a baby, what is yours cannot be given to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. I'm bringing my message to a close. God bless those of you who are able to go and speak to somebody. The heart of the Father that all men will be born again. He came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave and from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. He came from heaven to earth. Hallelujah. Today I ask somebody. I have five minutes, so let me just do it. Today I ask somebody. Maybe so. At the Bible studies. Our Bible are the same. Why? What are the excuses? The Bible says we have no excuse. We have to preach. Preaching is our father's business. And Jesus said, Don't you know I must be about my father's business? At the age of 12, 12 years, 12 years is brains are so mature. So if you are here, you are 12 years, you are okay. I said you are okay. At the age of 12, if you, you, can come a, you can become a pastor. Oh, yeah? mm. oh yes. Mm. There was a guy in the Bible at eight years he became king. No, be, oh, Josiah. Be, oh, your Josiah was eight years you say, no, when he became king. king. Be so if you are twelve years, you say, you me, no. ah, why you why you not Why you not bruise? Amen. Amen. So I asked them. What are the excuses? Then no ask them. One person said. I could say. He said, I'm not qualified. I say, oh, he said, because we are not qualified. I say, yes, I'm fatter. Then I said, why do you think you are not qualified? Yes, now, Jesus, I'm saying, but the things they are doing now, I'm also doing the same thing. So how do I go and say, that's what I'm talking about. They work like this. And me too, I work like that. So how can I go and preach? I can't. I will not. In fact, it shall not happen. Oh, me, yeah. Amen. Amen. So I want to solve that problem in five minutes and I close the service. Amen. Amen. I said amen. Amen. In the Bible, just say no. In the Bible, uh, just when you me. enter the temple, when you enter the temple, there are things in the temple, like cups, incense, utensils in the Old Testament. And all the things, there's a table there. Shoe bread, everything. All those things there are called holy. The things are called holy. Even the place is called holy. So the, the place and the things, do they sin? So how do they become holy? They call them the holy things. Holy utensils. Don't touch them. Even the place is holy. So what makes a place or something holy is not because the person does something. But because of who stays there? Because God stays in the temple. They, they say everything in the temple is holy. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God knows that we human beings, we cannot be perfect, but we can work towards perfection. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not perfect, but God said be perfect. It means work towards perfection, but because 
because he knows that he brought us a gift the gift is perfection the gift is holiness when that thing enters into you you will become holy eh? uh, how did they say that thing the Lord is in his holy temple let all the earth be silent before him how many of you know that song the Lord is in you don't know that one so what songs do you know so you know Shatawale you know Shatawale later song okay you know that one okay the Lord is in sing it say the Lord is in say the Lord is in his holy temple let all the earth be silent before him. The Lord in his holy temple. So let the earth be silent before him. So let's read this thing and then we can close the service. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17 to 21, then we are done. Who is reading for us? Oh, so it's 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 uh huh. Uh huh. And it's a bit of crystal moon. So be a crystal moon. No, your body of your body of your mother than you know to move. Your mother than you know to say, share. No man, you know, I have for say, share. 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 It's a look. Behold. Behold. Uh huh. And continue. Continue. Verse 18. Uh-huh. so apata Uh-huh. 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 Now we move on from so and go on so. Now what in pata asem no. Uh-huh. Ashe yen insa. Continue. Verse 20. In Chemodion, uh-huh. And ye ya but ye fufro awa crystal mu uh at the se o nyan copon nam yen so we too fu. Uh-huh. Ye dina crystal anamon sre mu se muma won pata inchi mu enfam nyan copon. Twenty one. In chemodion bako. If he say de own nim bonino or de no who ye pone ma ye. Uh-huh. Now, yeah, 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 please. In this church, we divide the Bible, we split it open, we study it. Let's go to verse 19. Look at what it says. Yes, you know, to uh, can you give me a, a, another version? Give me another version. Let me see. Give me another version. Quick, quick, my time is over. Good, I like this one. Look at it. Look at it. Carefully. Sure. That God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ. God wants the whole world to come to Him through Christ. Not counting people's sins against them. Hallelujah. Amen. So God. Is calling everybody through Christ, and Christ is not counting your sin against you. If God will count our sin against us, nobody will stand. Imagine you somebody here. If I don't steal something, I do not to me by Do you have something? Or something I have to do that I do not do. We have sin of omission and sin of commission. You can be sitting down and be sinning. Do you know that? You can be sleeping and be sinning. Sin of omission. If there is something you have to do and you are not doing it, if there is something good you have to do and you are sitting there and you are not doing it, you are sinning. So it's not the one who has cast somebody's head. It's not the one who has going to commit adultery. It's not the only person who has sinned. You who are sitting down talking about that person, you too, you are sinning. So God said, I want people. I am a 
a father. I want a family. I'm not counting your sin against you. But I have a program for you. Look at the program. The program is verse 20. We are therefore Christ and mothers that through God. Please let's go to verse 21. God made him. God made him who had no sin to be seen for us. If we said the only born in the year born in God made him who had no sin to be seen for us. Why? I didn't hear. Why? I didn't hear. So that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, so, when Jesus enters into you, the grace of the Rome, God is not looking at your sin. He is looking at what has entered. And if Jesus has entered, the righteousness has entered. Holiness has entered. So, you are a holy child of God. Hey, listen. When Jesus enters, yes, Rome, eh? eh? All of a sudden, somebody said, all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the things I used to do, I do them, no I do them no more. The places I used to go, I do them no more. All of a sudden, the things you used to do, something has entered into you, so you lose appetite. Gradually. You don't feel like going there. Gradually, you don't feel like doing that thing again. All of a sudden, you used to quarrel. All of a sudden, at first, when you quarrel, you can curse. All of a sudden, you quarrel. You curse. You go. You could not sleep. You, something is inside you. Something on the inside is working on the outside. Oh. What a change in my life. Jesus on the inside is working on the outside. Oh, I can go that place. change in my life. So we finish it. Oh, what a change in my life. So all of a sudden, I don't know. Holiness has entered. Wisdom has entered. Righteousness has entered. So, my brother, you can preach. Not based on your past. All of a sudden, there are things you can no longer do. Hallelujah. Because holiness has entered. Righteousness has entered. Wisdom has entered. One day, they were, they were pounding for food in the house. And I bathed. I was young. And then I took my Bible. And I told my mommy, I'm, I'm going to church and come. And I, then my mother said, no, mommy, say, But your fufu is ready. I, say, fufu, na, ready. I looked at the fufu. And I've been crying. No, and I told her, I'm going to have a bath. Then she said, no, no, Hey! This is a This is a bath. Let me tell you something. In our house, when they are cooking, I am the only one. We are nine. I am the only one who stands there with his plate. I'm the only one. I'll be standing there with my bow. I cannot wait. So, <laughs> all of a sudden, I let the fufu because some. Has entered into me. I now want to go to church and enjoy the Holy Ghost, enjoy prayer, and enjoy the Word. It was so important to me that the people something changes. My prayer for you is that Christ in you, something has changed in your life. And may you not remain in the pills. May you be a hero of God. May God call you at midnight. And say, pray for this brother. Pray for that sister. May God call you and say, Have you seen that guy? 
die when we start when we'll preach to him. May God use you to change people's lives. May God depend on you to shine the light of Christ. May your prayer be God, God give me Give me a shaman. God, 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 God,